biology. Oh my gosh, that class, that was the only C that I had. That class was, mm, was Why was it horrible? Just like the content. I just like, I feel like I learn better when I can relate to like the content and I couldn't relate to biology because it was just like, I mean, I'm a human and I like need certain things to exist and to be, but it was like, it just was too complicated and I was not here for it at all. Growing up, like he gave me a D. And you feel me, it was it was all based off a of group assignment, you feel me? And then he, he didn't grade my midterm because we had to draw a comic. I sent it to him as a as a PDF. He was like, it's supposed to be a JPEG. It's a zero. And I'm like, nah, bro. And then so I got a zero off that. So then you feel me, I'm already coming off to coming off midterm, damn near like C minus. You feel me? Whoa, damn, me and my partner do bad on the final. I don't even remember, cause bro, we got like a C on the final. It was just over with. Cause we only had like three assignments in the class. Cause literally all we did was read comics in there. So, so, so look though. This, this, this is what I'm gonna say. To just, let's keep it fair, folks. Like, we was tweaking during that time period, though. That's what I should. <laughs> like, we, we, we was tweaking during that time. I kind of had two, but one was worse. It was probably Spanish. Um, first semester of my sophomore year. I ain't really like how the teacher was teaching. First, I came in late because my classes had got dropped. So like when I came in, they was already like starting and she ain't making up better. Like it was like she wanted me to know it already and I didn't. So it was like, yeah, I had to drop her, get another teacher. But yeah, that was probably the worst. Worst class. Oh, I, so I had taken a pre-calc. I don't know if C. Robin Yezer, they talked about him earlier. I don't remember folks name. But um, I was cool with the teacher. He was like an older Asian gentleman. You feel me? Right. You could tell he obviously had a passion for the for the for uh, the for the for the class, for, for the sure. love of the game. You for feel sure. me? Folks was in it. He, he was lit. You know, he was trying to teach us everything. But folks didn't really speak English that well. And so when you got you somebody trying to teach you about like business calc with all you feel me your cut your sign and your cosine and your your parabolas yeah. and, and all your good stuff and it's like you feel me nigga said parabolas, you know what I'm saying? Nigga. look bro <laughs> look you got all your all your exponents and variables nigga. and they just keep coming at you and then folks you feel me like he mumbling first of all i had to drop a class during ad drop because like this semester because the professor was just like he was just so rude. It was just like, bro, like, I pay for you to have a job. Like, come on. Um, but in terms of like being in class, I think my worst one was like my freshman year. And it was kind of like in my major. So it was kind of bad because she like did not know what she was doing. And she, the class was just everywhere. I got an A though, so that matters. But I didn't feel like I learned anything. I just feel like I got an A and just to get an A. Okay, but my teacher, I don't even care because she knows she's wild. She will tell you she's wild, Miss Stevens, Professor Stevens. That's my you know advisor. Her. When I say y'all, uh, she is so fucking wild, bruh. Like, okay, so first of all, I, I had her last year. And I got a B, you know what I'm saying, just because all the strength of me. But this time, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna take her again because I needed to change my schedule around. So why I get in the class? The class is like, it was two weeks into the class already. So the first day I got a quiz. Now a naturally good teacher would say, oh, you haven't been here. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what's going on. So you don't have to take the quiz. Do you think she did that? Do you Hell think she no. Did? no. I know okay. for a fact she did So look, so look, I take the quiz. You know I got like a 25 on it. Cause I mean, I don't know what the fuck going on. So I go to her, mind you, they had, this was the retake. Like the day that I came, it was the retake. So they had already took the quiz and failed it. So I'm like, okay, like, you know, I come up to her like, hey professor, you know what I'm saying? Like, she ain't I ain't going for Oh, she ain't going. So she's like, well, she listened to everything I gotta say. She's like, well, sweetie, I love that you came to me. However, uh, girl, it's a no for me, dog. It's a no for me, dog. <laughs> she was like, no, so girl, first I had to go to the chair, then I had to go to the dean, but we all know who came out on top. Erica Lennox. What? You think I'm a fail? Cause you out? I really hate, I really hate when the press be like, well, well, Spade or Christian, like, why didn't you tell me you didn't understand? Nigga, I don't, I'm so lost. I don't know what I don't know, my nigga. I'm so lost. I don't understand. I don't know where to start. Do we want to restart the class today? Is that how we want to start our Thursday class? Like, start all the way over. <laughs> Drop all the grades. My worst one, I had, <clears throat> I guess it was English to composition too, whatever. Yeah, college. I had this, um, this professor, like he'd give us papers to turn in 
and low key it wouldn't have no due date as long as it was turned in before the end of the summer, like end of the semester. And then he would never turn it back. You don't know what grades you got, like none of that. That man gave me a C, and I went to his office to ask him like. Why did? Because I ain't never get no papers back. So how did I get a seat? Oh, we used to have the same Spanish class. Oh my gosh, she was so now. Hot. Granted, we would come to the class thirty minutes late every, every day. day. Every day. With, With food. food. With food. With food. With food. food. And not the donkey bitch. We was at Chick Fil A. <laughs> right. Period. Granted, that's what was going on in the class. But she was still wild. No, but like, we had already had her. Like we've been had her before. Yes. We had her together the first semester, and we and took her together the second semester. We like to take all that class together. Right. So we could cheat. Like we be tweaking and all that shit. But they be tweaking even more. Like, I had a class, um, I forgot the name of that bit. It was, uh, History with Kelly, with, uh, Mr. Kelly. So I'm not even a doctor, but folks used to come in class, like, 20 minutes late. You feel me? And then get mad when we used to leave type shit. Like, oh, we will just get up and be like, all right, class, ain't no class today. He'll come in, like, right when we leave, like, nah, everybody. No participation points or some shit like that. I think the class with a C. This nigga, this nigga, first of all, the first month of class, he didn't even speak. We legit thought this nigga was a mute. He used to walk in class and write everything he would say on the board. I kid you not. And then, like, we would have tests. First of all, you know how, like, teachers be like, read the chapter. You have a test coming up, like, I ain't gonna read that bit. Like, I'm in the class, we discussing shit. I legit think as long as I'm paying attention, we gonna be, we gonna be straight, we gonna be cool. Bro, when I tell you this man had nothing that we were talking about in the discussion that we had in the reading, and then we were like, why we all have apps? He was like, I told y'all to read. And we were like, well, why didn't discuss shit in class? He was like, well, if I wanted y'all to read, if, I, if we wanted to stuff in class, I would never told y'all to read. Yeah. My best class, oop, my best class was my biology, my general biology, like one class I had with Dr. Powell. She was just amazing. Like, she was one of those teachers that forced you to learn, but it wasn't, it wasn't in a way that was like annoying. Like, it was like you know she wants you to be better at what you're doing, and she like really cares about her students. Like, she got me an internship and all that stuff. So, I think that was my best class. The greatest professor that I ever had here is have to be Ilya Davis. Um, he's a philosophy professor. He was just so dope, like inside the classroom, outside the classroom, like if I had issues with life or anything like that, like I could talk to him. And then even inside the classroom, he pushed me philosophically to just like expand my thinking and to just, you know, get down to the nitty gritty. Yeah, yeah Chris Chris Dane Dane was class. Multimedia it, writing and storytelling. That's what Yes, and then music journalism. We are now in his music journalism. Anything class. that he yeah, teaches, y'all should really take if you mass media. He got the connects. Like when I say he really lit, like I ain't even gonna cap. I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know. I got put on with Roman out, and it was basically because of him. Like because it wasn't because of him, but when I said I knew Christopher Daniel, oh the person like they was like, you know Chris Daniel. <laughs> Oh, Chris Daniel, how do you know Chris Daniel? That's been my people. And then like, I feel like that's low key like what pushed me over the edge. Like everybody loves him in the industry. So I feel like if you, you know what I'm saying, take his class, he gonna look out. And he's funny. He be cussing in class he be, and stuff. He be chatting. I said. And when he puts on his snapback, no tattoos. <laughs> oh, he puts the snapback on and he's in the mode. Oh, yeah. I really have no favorite classes I've been here. Yeah. I had favorite, like. Oh, Kyle Fox, too. Kyle Fox. Yeah, cool, like, yeah. professors, like, I done had, like, personal professors that I done got cool with. Sophie Weeks. Uh, cool. Dr. Welcher. Sophie Weeks, like, she an English teacher, but she from France. <laughs> she cool <laughs> to tell, though. It cool don't to make tell. Sense. She got a little accent. She tatted in a bitch. My best class was probably speech. Um, I forget like what's the whole form, the whole name of it, but yeah, it was and basically because I had it with like two of my friends. But the teacher was like, she helped us. It wasn't like it was hard. It wasn't hard or nothing because usually I'm not good at public speaking. But like she made it fun. She didn't like she graded us hard, but she made us feel comfortable speaking and stuff. And I liked it. Uh, I did some great speeches. Uh, oh Dr. Welcher, uh, Dr. Dr. Bride, uh, who else? I mean, I ain't gonna lie, just shout out the whole sociology, because they be on that, like, that free think, they a bunch of free yeah, thinkers. Yeah, they like that Kanye shit. And, and that's why I be, that's why like, I fuck with them. <laughs> on accident, the other day, I called him Christopher Daniel. Oh, don't call him Christopher Daniel. I came out, I came out the bathroom, I said, hello, Christopher Daniel, he said, he did just like that, he said, I said, oh, 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 o
did I tell him that? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? He said, don't call me that. I said, well. And she was laughing at first. She right. Said, I, thought I, I thought it was funny. He said, that is very unprofessional for an undergraduate student, and we do not do that in this department. Like, I said, all yes, you know sir. Is cussing, you mad at us. Right. All I you said, know yes, sir, it will not happen again. She did, she and said it. I did, because I'm a polite young lady. So Ooh. now I call him Professor Daniel, as much as I want to say Christopher Daniel. I it's, let it just roll off the tongue. Like, good, good. Christopher Daniel. Christopher Daniel is a good ass right. man. Christopher he Daniel. don't appreciate it. He's not grateful for it. Right. Ooh, finessing. Let me quiz lit. Get oh, that quiz. Hey, hey, let me. I'm gonna tell you this right now. Look, sure. every freshman, you gotta take Spanish or whatever grade you're in. You, whether you take Spanish up to like level 300, you gonna get on VHL. All you gotta do is copy the first sentence on the page, and paste that up. joint. The quiz is gonna pop up with all pop the up. answers. Sit in front of all your goddamn classes. That's general ed. Cause those bitches gonna be the biggest. Like your fucking maths, your English, your biologies. If you sit in the back of them classes, you will not pass, bro. If you that's sit up, like them classes gonna be like like. Maybe like a hundred students, but that's, that's, that's way too Go many. to freshman seminar. No matter how tired you are, you gotta go, go. to freshman seminar. You, need that. you can sleep in freshman seminar, but go to freshman exactly. seminar, bro. Keep you that group me strong. Keep you that group me strong. Like he said, you know what I'm saying? Don't skip. Cause bro, once she starts skipping classes, it's gonna be way easier to keep on skipping more classes. And keep teachers going to peak class. that. Teachers if you're just that. there, even if you're there, you feel me? If you're watching TV in the class every now and then, you feel me? If you sleep in a class every now and then, you feel me? Every now and then, as long as you are there. How can your teacher, teacher help you, you if, if she doesn't even know who you are? Exactly. You need to go to their office hours. Yeah. With any teacher, go to their office hours. They love talking to their students. Like, just make sure you seem like you're interested. Even if you don't care, like, even if you got a good grade, for yeah, real, for real. Yeah, just, just say that. Like, you have to. Just go to their office hours. Utilizing office hours, like what I do before I take a class, like I send out emails to all of my professors before just introducing myself and saying, you know, that I'm very excited for the class and asking the professor, you know, what the characteristics that the students that have left their class with AIDS have um, in terms of like study habits, in terms of just like, you know, work ethic and things like that and just building up relationships with each professor and teacher because you never know, like you may have a B plus in the class and because like you established that relationship with them and you know, they know that you worked hard in the class they may give you an extra credit opportunity to bump your grade up like that's happened to me several times so I just advise you to just you know put your best foot forward even before you get the syllabus you can cheat definitely you can do that yeah. but you know if it's one specific class that you can't cheat in just let that be the class that you pay attention in you yeah. know if you know you can't cheat if you know you can't cheat, you know, like just fans, we really couldn't cheat. Right. So I, we really had to actually work. But you know, and it's simple. one class versus four others that you can cheat in. You know? And one thing I will say too, when you if you get cool with your professors, when I say they will look out like I don't even know. I couldn't tell you the first thing I learned in school to this day. I don't know nothing. But like just growing 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 on them and just like, hey, what you doing? Right. Talking to them like they your friends. Yeah. They, they like to feel that because you don't know what's going on with them at yeah, home. Yeah, like you gotta really just be like cool. Like I swear I don't know what be going on. I I really don't. I'll I'll be at class. Oh, and go to class. Don't no, be yeah, no. really go to class. They need to know you. They right. need to know you. You know, or if you're gonna skip, skip every now and again. Don't yeah. skip all the time to what they know. Get when you need to, like if it's a, a skipper. Hump, yeah, like if it's a hump and somebody's there, you know, that's understandable. Right. You gotta go. You but if it's just it. like you just trying to chill on the problem now because you met a nigga and now you trying to see what's up with him, like he'll be out there. Oh, y'all trying to go get something to eat in your friends? Like, like, you know what I'm saying? You can skip, you can do that. Number oh. one, right? Get a group me. Bro, if you are not in a group chat, you're failing, trust me. If you want to get that cute girl's number who's in your class, make a group me. If you want to study for your test, make a group me. If you want to cheat on your test, right. make a group me. If you don't want to go to class but you need the notes, make a group me. Like if you want to bring, if you want your best friend who's going to be late to class to bring you some food, make a group me. Like right. group chat early though. So true. So true. Get in that group chat immediately, like effectively as of today type shit. Like. 
boy, some of the answers, some of the, some of the shit that saved me, bro. The group chat, yeah. And then, even my fucking past class, like, we looked out for each other with certain yeah, shit. Have, like, you, you know what I'm saying? You have to, like, in the class, bro, that's how it works. Wait, hold you on. gotta find people who got similar strengths and weaknesses as you, you feel me? Y'all sit next to each other and y'all get through that bit. So, like, me, like, I've been, I got, like, a couple homies, like, my homie Jakari and my homie DeAndre. Like, we literally been taking some of the same class since freshman year. And we literally be in that bitch on the first day, look at the syllabus, like, bro, this shit hard as hell. But we have passed that bitch with a beat and we are all gonna be minus. And you feel me? We'll be good. We, hey. You feel me? Next year, next class, we back in it. Like this year, we got two classes. Last year, we got one class. You feel me? Oh, sit in the front. Like I sit in the front. Um, and ask questions. I mean, like talk to him after. Like yeah, you don't so, even gotta do it during it's class. Like, be like, engaged. Like if you don't want to like talk to him like in class, or you feel like you can't talk in class. Hours. Yeah, or talk Catch to him, him after. Outside. Yeah. Like just make them know you. You like, actually care about your work. Cause then they'll be able to like, even, know, the same, the even if you really don't care about it, just yeah. act like you care at the very it's least. It's all about finesse for real, like, if, as long as they know your name, you good. Oh, and one thing I will say too, do not argue with the teachers, bro. This is not high school. Like, I, it be like, you I lose. Yeah, time. like when I was in first semester this year, oh, this year, I was in a class with all freshmen. Like, I don't even know how I ended up in there. It was some dumb shit I was in. When I say these hoes was arguing with the professor the whole time, like, bitch, y'all are not gonna pass when y'all fucking argue with him. Like, That's cause as soon as you, as soon as you need bad, something, the problem, they don't never, they don't never forget they it. Don't like, care. as soon as you need something, yeah, like, why you arguing? Like, right. You can't just suck up real quick. I mean, I get if they're being disrespectful to you. No, but Steve you know, is disrespectful. Still. I still be like, Sis, she's so she's my advisor. She's actually very nice to me. She's my advisor, but I see how she interacts with other Girl, people. She be wild, and I know for a fact I would you know never her, right? take her class. She's so wild. Kind of girl from the other day, G. We taking the Spanish test. This girl came in late, like it was too funny. She came in late already, and the lady don't let you come in late, but she let her come in. So she ain't know we had a test too. So it was even more funny. Like she's sitting in front of me. I'm all like, oh, she don't know it. So then she's sitting down. The teacher go on the other side of the room. It's one of them little rooms. Like I think it was like room 316 or something. One of them little tight mm -hmm. ones. So the girl, as soon as the teacher go over there, she like leaning over, like the pull her phone up so she could take a picture and send it to somebody. The teacher caught her. Swear to God. She said, is that your phone? She said. Yeah, she was like, yeah. Um, she like, but it's off. She like, no, give it to me. She like, give it to you. She like, yeah. She was like, <laughs> but she got it was so Damn. funny though. Like I felt bad because she ain't already know. It. I know her test was boring. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it would be funny. That was really bad. Like, so, yeah, that, it was real funny though. Like, don't, yeah, don't get caught cheating. We be having like, see, we be having like, more have fucking with Morehouse. You have like a heart to heart in your class. Like, I don't even know how to pop up, but some nigga just start telling you about like his back home girlfriend. Yeah. Right. Hey, nah, look though. Yeah, we had. I'm a freshman. We had a conversation about losing your virginity and shit. I'm like, wow. Yeah. Bro. Nah, look, that happened though. That, that shit. That part was the wildest shit. So I mean, you know. Uh, I'm in sociology, and it was a Spelman woman in the class. You feel me? And it's Morehouse. You feel me? So 99% of the class, you know, male dominated and shit. So we having a conversation about gender roles and, and the LGBTQ community and shit, and, and and all these, you know, these sensitive topics and shit. And one motherfucker just said like, "Nah, fuck all that." Like, folks just like, "Fuck all that." I ain't trying to hit that. Nah, why I got? He like, and then he start putting himself in there. He like, "Why I gotta be this and why I gotta be that?" Cause the teacher had to get in that like, nah, chill, relax. You know, we this a safe space. You know that that little feel good shit they be saying. That little that little uh, feel good shit. And so, and so you know, motherfuckers quiet down. But then after class, motherfuckers like, what's up? Motherfuckers <laughs> just. And I don't know, I, cause you know I, I be I, you know, I be high in class, so I don't, I, I don't really know what happened in between like that and that. But all I know is motherfuckers trying to go on Brown Street and, and, and shoot that bitch, shoot the one like, what's up, bro? Like I ain't trying to hear that shit. I think the craziest experience that I probably have had as a student in the classroom will have to be. Oh, somebody tried to fight somebody in class. It was rough, like, I don't even remember like what, like why they were about to fight, but it just like, it started in the classroom and the niggas was like, meet me on Parsons, and it was just a lot, and I was just like, this is too much. But yeah, I think that's the craziest like experience. I don't even remember what class it was in, I just remember people almost fighting. 
freshman year, I was in this teacher. I don't even know the teacher's name, but he teaches critical thinking and he sweats. Ellis. Yes, I had him. He, when I say y'all, he be drenched, dripping, drip, drip. Like literally, drip or drown. Drip or drown. Drip or drown. What? When I say it be pouring off his face, but he cool though. He cool. Some girl, it was this dread hair girl in my class. And you know them girls that just be like, just knowing, like she just be knowing stuff. Like I don't even know if she just, she just knows stuff. And then this other girl, like, you know, the, it's like the battle of the know-it-alls. Like, <laughs> the bitches just think they know everything. <laughs> I just be in class, like, my head be going like this. I be like, loving it. I love it when the time goes so quick because they just be arguing in class. So. They was arguing about the subject matter, y'all. When I say one bitch, I think the dread hair one, one of them said, what's up? They got to fight. It was in a lecture. I lied to y'all not. It was in the lecture hall. Them hoes was rolling. And Ellis, girl, he was sweating so hard. <laughs> he was, I know he was. He was like this, like, lady, stop, lady, stop, stop, stop. fighting, girl. We loved it. It was like my third week of school. I said, if I did not get to the fucking ghetto, bitch, don't you tell no I said, the ghetto, the ghetto. I wanted to tiptoe around. I'm like, oh my God, ghetto, 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 ghetto. <laughs> It was so funny. I love them. Concrete Nest, Ooh, Spanish 201. Uh, they gonna put y'all in Brawley. Uh, Brawley, like one of them fed ass rooms, lecture Ooh. hall rooms, whatever. Spanish always in Bank of America. Is it? Nah, not this, not that year. Not that, not last, not, was that last year? Last year. I don't know. He put us all in Brawley. Usually we be in Bank of America. So that's just like, you feel me, auditorium style. You got your phone in the little, the little half desk or whatever. You do your thing. They say, nah. Put them in Broadly, so we all at the desk or whatever. So motherfuckers confused, like how we gonna get through this year type shit. So <laughs> motherfuckers, so motherfuckers, motherfuckers hit the group chat like everybody just pull up an hour early type shit. We gonna we gonna lay the plan out. So you know I pull up a little later, thirty minutes or whatever. So everybody get their seat down, pack how they going. He instantly, this class in this section, this class in that section, this class in that section. So we getting that down. Like we, it's fucked up out here. Like, it's over type shit. He give out the test or whatever. Motherfuckers, all, all I start hearing is sneezing. I'm talking about like 30 seconds. Everybody sneezing, getting up to go tissue. I look up, motherfuckers hand the tissue sheets to each other, folks. I'm talking about tissue sheets, balls of paper. I'm talking about cups. I'm talking about polar pop cups with the ends on them. I look, I look up. I get some sheets of paper and shit. Ooh, do my thing. And I just pass to the back. I just pass to the back. Do what I do. What I do. Some dude get caught with like all the shit on his desk. <laughs> and he get, he get that. Yeah, you gotta go. Like zero your shit. Everybody, as soon as he leave, everybody just turn their test in. We go. Everybody pass. Damn, Good. but he went out for all y'all. <laughs> he was, he was, like, shout out to you, nigga. He was basically like the MLK for y'all. Basically, <laughs> pretty much. And, and, and we appreciate you, bro. We appreciate you, bro. Long live you. I know you and that bitch taking that motherfucker again, but nigga, he probably don't go to Morehouse. <laughs> <laughs> they probably got that. Yeah, oh god, academic is honestly right. 40k. 40k down the drain, boy. His, his mom probably still beating his ass every night. Y'all gotta see the teacher, he was so stressed. He was like, ladies, ladies, like, but he was sweating so bad. I was just like, and he white too. He's he got so, no hair, but he's so sweet. Like, he's so sweet. I just felt so bad for him. Yeah, I used to be like, I used to be. Skipping his class and stuff. And he's still gonna be an A probably. Yeah, I gotta I mean I gotta be because I, I I couldn't cheat as much as I wanted to on the man yeah. on the final. Damn. But yeah, like I would like make up stories on why I didn't come to class and stuff, and he would really just buy it. And I just wanna He'd say like, okay. I just really wanna say thank you for that. Yeah. Because we love you. If I knew like it was one class that I could skip, I knew it was that one. And sincerely from the bottom of my heart, I wanna say thank you for allowing me that opportunity. You know, without you, there would be no me. Right, the mental piece, like I still be a freshman probably. Cause when I say that class was so fucking easy, I don't know what was going on. I just used to come in there and let them bitches argue, <laughs> and they think I know the bell was ringing. And now I had to go to the next class. She was wild, and so I thought it was just like that one class. No, she's wild every class. I just knowing shit. Like, girl, how do you know that? I wanna know who it is. Hey, it's the, off camera? She dread, no, I don't know her name, but she got dressed. They probably know her when they're watching it, cause she probably be knowing stuff in their classes too. Like. <laughs>